Hey, is the ideal then Villa go down and West Brom go up? Is that like the, oh, the ideal it, situation? It would be. It would be uh, sorry about that. He's, yeah, it's all right. He's trying to juggle now outside the door. Um, <laughs> listen, if you live in that part of, of the world, then West Brom don't want Villa doing anything and, and, and Villa don't want all Birmingham, all Wolves, because in, you know, that it's a hotbed of football oh, with yeah. the black country and all that stuff. And, but Villa are a great football club, what I mean, in stature, fan wise, everything. And, and you want to see, you really want to see your big teams. And Villa have been big teams with big crowds, great stadiums, being in, in the Premier League, but nobody has a divine right. Uh, West Brom fans would love to see them come up and them go down. Of course they would. And that is and that is a possibility. And having played for West Brom and uh, and played against Villa and, and not wanting them to do anything, <laughs> I'm not that. Yeah, I'm not that um, biased that I don't want to see the best clubs in the Premier League because Leeds United, for whether you like them or you loathe them, have an unbelievable fan base, good or bad. Well, that's questionable in t- at times, but they but they have a tradition and they yeah. have a support that you want when you're playing those sort of teams at home. You want their support to come and make the stadium even better in a more atmosphere. And when you go away from home, there'll be no doubt because it will fill the the ground and the atmosphere will be great. So for me, I always want the I always want the teams that have got the tradition and the great fan base to be playing the Premiership because atmosphere is, is what it's all about. That's why it's so difficult while well, these games now are going to be, be played behind closed doors and, and no fans there. Have you seen the German ones? It's weird, oh, isn't it? Watching it just in I watched the well, I watched the half, and I thought Dortmund against Bayern Munich, top yeah. against second, four points behind. Dortmund at home. If they win, they're a point behind Bayern Munich. I turned off at half time. Uh, because uh, 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 Kimmich scored a great goal, actually, but it was like it was like watching a practice game, yeah. and it, there was no atmosphere. Well, obviously no atmosphere because nobody was in there. But, but there was no tempo to the game, and I understand they've not played for a while, so the tempo's not. But if there's a crowd there, the tempo seems a lot better with atmosphere and everything than it would do when there's no fans there. And I, I, I got to half time. I thought, no, I can't watch any more of that. And I'm glad I didn't because it, it finished one 0 But it was a great goal by mm-hmm. by Kimmich. He sort of keep off his line. He talked about it before the game. Just said that he does creep off his line a bit. And good thinking by him. He lobbed it over him, and he took the three points. So they're going to win the Bundesliga again this year because I think they're seven points clear now. 